Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we set up the Stripe into a Rails application. In this lecture, we will briefly explore the Stripe API reference in Ruby. So let's go to the Google and search for Stripe API reference Ruby. So open the new tab and here you will type Stripe API reference Ruby. Okay. And you will find that the first link is Stripe API reference Ruby. Click on this link. And at the home page of Stripe API, you will find that it is asking you to install the gem Stripe into your application and that we already did in the last lecture. Okay, now let's visit the authentication tab and we already did the same thing in last lecture inside the Stripe service class. So open the authentication link and here you can see that we did the same thing Stripe API and we provided our Stripe API key through environment variable. Okay, but we forget to add this require stripe at the top of the file. So let's do that now. So go to your project directory, open the stripe service class. Okay, and in this stripe service class at the top, we need to require the stripe. So add require stripe okay. and save the file. Now look at the APIs provided by Stripe. We will mostly deal with the core resources provided by the Stripe like customers, charges and token. Customer resource will help us to manage applications customer on Stripe and then we can use token and charges resources to create charges for them. Okay. Here you can see the customer charges and tokens inside the core resources of Stripe. So you can find the customers API endpoints here. Okay, so here you will find that how to create a customer on Stripe, how to retrieve a customer, how to update and delete a customer on Stripe and how to list all the customers and how to search through the customer on Stripe. Okay, you can also see that there is a APIs for charges as well to create charges, retrieve charges, update and capture charges and listing and searching through all the charges. Okay, and you can also see that there is a token resource as well like creating a card token and using that token to create charges okay so we will do this we will use these resources when we book ticket for customers stripe also provide apis for subscription payments products and invoices as well so here you can see that stripe is showing the resources for payment methods where you can see the payment methods bank account cash balance cards and sources okay and you can see there is there are some resources for products as well you can create products on stripe and you can set the prices on stripe and create coupons discount on stripes as well and then into the billing you can find that there are some plans that you can create invoices invoice items subscription and subscription items and scheduled subscription as well okay so these are the resources that we might require while developing a fully e-commerce application but in our course project we have limited uh, we implemented limited features where we will ask from the customers to pay through stripe and we will create subscription for them on stripe and we will generate invoice for them as well later in the course okay but for now that's the brief walkthrough of stripe apis and you can explore this more at your end okay we will be using these stripe apis based upon our requirements okay so that's all from this lecture in the next lecture we will look at the stripe customer resource and try to create customers on stripe so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe